What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Art Shack. So this video I want to talk about blending. There's quite a few different materials that you can use to blend a drawing and a lot of them act in very different ways. So I've prepared something to show you the difference in these blending materials and they range from ordinary blending stumps to the Q-tips and paintbrushes which normally aren't really used for blending at all. But let me show you how they work. So here, you can see I have made a chart showing different materials I'm going to be using. And to demonstrate them, I am going to use an HB pencil, which is your normal standard typical pencil that you would find in an everyday household. So to test this, every one of these boxes, just going to put a nice shading in like that. Nothing too fancy. I'm pressing pretty hard. I want to get a nice application in. Now each one of these little tick marks represents one inch. Alright, so let's start off with probably the most common way of blending, which is a blending stump. So to start off, I'll get, just kind of go in a circular motion, just try and get some of that on here. And then I'll work it out, start working that in, just to see how far you can really blend it. And what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of 4B in here, just to make things a little bit darker, and make it a little bit easier for all of you to see what's going on. All right, so let's try that again. Same thing again. Now you can probably clearly see how far this blending stump's allowing me, to, allowing me to actually go, so. What's nice about the blending stump is that it'll hold that graphite in there. And you can use it as like a light toning uh, utensil. So you can carry that blend really far with this. Which is why this is what I will typically use most of the time. These top three are probably the most common to use for blending. Paper towels, paintbrush, and Q-tips are less common, but they still are quite effective. So let's use a tortillion. So here's the big difference. I, I get asked this quite a bit, so I'll try and explain the difference between a blending stump and a tortillion. Blending stump is a solid piece of paper. You can sharpen this and you'll still have a solid roll of paper underneath the initial uh, shaving here. A tortillion, on the other ha hand, will have a hole in it. So if you were to press really hard on the tip of it, it'll actually become blunt. So you gotta be careful with these, but they still work pretty well. What's nice is that they have a much longer tip, so you can really get a nice and long application with them. Now these will blend similarly to a blending stump, but I find they don't last as long as a typical blending stump. I can use a blending stump for quite a few drawings without actually replacing it or trying to even clean it off. And for the most part, I don't even try and clean them off. I just tend to use them. I'll keep blending stumps that look like this and have a completely black tip. They still work just fine. So you can see here that it has a pretty similar application to a blending stump. All right, so let's try a cloth. Now here's the cloth that I have, which you can see has gotten quite a bit of use. So I typically just find a corner of it and just start going along. Now what's interesting about the cloth is that it'll absorb a lot more graphite than it'll blend. So if you accidentally make an area a bit too dark, you can easily lighten it up with a piece of cloth like this. So you can see that the blend from this is almost non-existent, or it actually blends so well that you can't really even see it. So it's, it's a nice tool to use. 
if you want to make some really nice and smooth blends. So here's a very unorthodox use of blending, but because of the texture of a paper towel, it can actually make some interesting texture. So by using that, it'll soften everything and it'll carry a blend line pretty well. But because of the texture on this, it'll create more of a textured blend. So it works nice if you're trying to blend maybe some clothing or just something that requires a little bit more texture. Because remember, a blending stump will remove almost all texture from a drawing. All right, so here's a paintbrush. Now this is a tool that I don't really use too often, but it, it doesn't really work too well. It depends on what kind of a paintbrush you actually use. This is an oil paintbrush, so the bristles are rather stiff and they'll really uh, sort of attack what's on there and try and soften everything. But a paintbrush won't really carry anything. It will, however, smudge an area that you're working on. But if you want to blend and carry, it doesn't do it very well. And the last tool, which I recommend if you don't have a blending stump, is to use a regular Q-tip because it will hold that graphite and will carry it just like a blending stump will. All right, so start off. You can see that it does blend everything and it does carry a lot too. So a Q-tip does work, but it doesn't last very long. And so that's pretty much the extent of using a Q-tip, so. All right, so out of all these, Q-tip, blending stump, things don't roll, they will, but you get the idea. So got the tartillion, the cloth, what else we got? Paper towel, and of course, the paintbrush. These are just a few of the materials that I picked out for demonstrating this blending tutorial. There are a few more out there, you can use different textures of a cloth or paper towel and get different sort of textures but all in all to be honest I will mainly only use a blending stump and maybe a cloth that's pretty much it um, I haven't found too much use for a paintbrush but it does work it definitely does blend stuff but it's not really the best tool that I've ever used so I hope you all enjoy this one and let me know what your favorite blending tool is if and let me know what your experience is if you ever actually got around to using the q-tip for your work it's uh, it's an interesting tool it's uh, definitely a very good workaround if you don't have a blending stump so it's always good to hear your reactions with those so i hope you all enjoyed this one and i want to thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you all later take care <laughs>